Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Guess what? The freaking thing for the, um... Well, my camera ran out of battery, basically. So rudely. And we don't need to talk to everyone, but... Obviously, this appears to be the corresponding area to the one, you know, the one at the end of the underwear. And whoa! Looks like an alien. But yeah, this video is going to be fused onto the last one. No, I'm not going to say fused. I'm not going to use it to flip share. No, I'm going to use the, uh, I forget the name of it. Video pad. God. My given, oh, that, my given name is Wibby. I owe thee for that one. Thou art super. Oh, I thought we meant Grandy. Wibby, speakest of my father. How doth he fare? So maybe it's not exactly like the area. I'm sorry, Wubby. I could not stop young beast from entering Granby's shrine. And the fiends wrecked the bridge once they crossed it. Help cannot reach the him. Well, maybe help can't, but hell can. Man, all I hear is crying. Show a little initiative. Can't we rebuild the bridge? You know, I never got to see what anyone else says there, since you're always Bowser, since you're freezing. To rebuild it, thou must find Rebby, Bluey, and Yebby, and get their three orbs. And we get a door key, which we need. Although, before we do that, we're actually going to do some backtracking, or maybe we'll, we won't do that first. But one of them, we already met Yebby, I believe. Remember, he was the one we couldn't do anything with yet? Well, now that we've talked to... I forget his name. I can remember Falby's name, a minor character from Twilight Princess. Like, after so much time, I can't just remember that. I don't get it. Anyway, um... What should I talk about? Yeah, but like I was saying, the reason I haven't recorded this in a while is just because, you know, wing it, do what, and video pad. You know, maybe with video pad I can get back to doing my top tens. In fact, I just did a top ten, or at least I scripted it, because yes, any top ten or top five I do from now on will be scripted. Definitely. So yeah, we'll, we'll hold off backtracking for a little bit. Maybe backtracking can be the last thing we do. So we'll try to keep... Yeah, like, okay, obviously I know how to get to Yebby, or Yubby. Okay, now here's where we got two ways to go. Um, let's go left first. And... Yeah, I mean, seriously, what is this? Is this an attack from Hell, or an attack from... I don't know, from the Crystal Palace? But yeah, and I'm wondering if I could do that with video pad, but I'm a little bit reluctant because it kind of seems new to me. I think if I had to, I mean, I think if I could, I could string a bunch of video game footage together. I think I could do that. And I think that um, if I had, that I could also be capable of, you know, putting subtitles in a video. But what's worrying me is the whole voiceover thing, you know, that I have to do voiceover. I'm not really sure how I'm going to be able to work that. It's just kind of worrying me. Yeah. Um, 3D is a good way to look ahead and just see exactly where you have to go. Although here, as you can see, this was, this was actually a dead end. And we have to go over here. And as you can see, we got a long way of enemies. But wait a minute. This one's here. And I don't think we've seen Super Luigi yet. Now we have. Looks just like Mario, but he's green. Yeah, the so the voiceover thing is worrying me. You know, the bow. Oh, God. I gotta tell you this story. Okay, have any of you ever read the book Monster by, I want to say Walter Dean Myers, but I'm not exactly sure. So, yeah, in the book Monster, it's kind of written like a movie might be written. Like, it's got a bunch of whole scripture, like scripts and things. Yeah, we gotta go to 3D again. And, um, well, well, that kind of took me a while to get used to, and at first I didn't really like the book, um, but, well, it's kind of hard to talk about two things at once. Yeah, so this is actually kind of funny. If you say Mario, oh, a monster, how perfect, well, I'm talking about a book called Monster. If you say Mario or Granby, he'll just say, no, you're lying, you're a monster coming to get me, but if you say you're a monster, a monster, thou liest. No monster would, do, would admit to being a monster. Huh? Hold a moment. That mean it, thou art not a monster? So I thought that was kind of clever how they made you do that. Oh, oh, this is Yebby. The other one I think was Bluey. That's a character from Diddy Kong Racing. 
Well, only oh, only I would forget the name of a character that I just saw the name of, but remember stuff like from that. A yellow orb from Yebi. Okay. So... Yeah, but basically one of the things in the book, sometimes it says VO, like voiceover. Well, I had no idea what that meant, and I assumed that there was a character named Vo. And for the longest time, I actually thought when it said VO, it was talking about a character named Vo. Yeah. So speaking of monsters, we got a bunch of them here, but not anymore since Luigi... Luigi, uh, you know, really took care of them. He took care of them. Because <laughs> take care of means kill. Because that's what, um... <sighs> you know, that's funny. That reminds me of a joke from Good Luck Charlie once. And, you know, I don't care what you say. That show is awesome. I like it a lot. So, you know what? Rainbow. Do I have ADD or something? I think I do. Like, when I wasn't saying anything, I was, like, staring at it. So, here's a bit of a more obvious 3D puzzle. Does this door have a deformed twin? Nah. It has a twin in another dimension. I believe that this one just leads to a dead end, but we might as well make sure. I think this one leads to some, like, secret that no one really seems to know about. So, whoa, we got Boomerang Brothers for the first time all game. Um, let's be Luigi here. Luckily, it doesn't stop the jump completely. Um, what, what pixel do we have? Still very Okay, uh, that works. Even if it's not what you want to do, it works. Maybe I shouldn't call Good Luck Charlie awesome, because that might not be the best word to describe it, but I like it very much. And because I don't feel like going down and putting myself in range of that, we're going to use some boom boom. Oh yeah. And how about some more boom boom? Yeah. And this is something... I've never really gotten this. I'm pretty sure that you don't even do anything else with this in the game. It's just a what? No answer. Looks like he's faking it. And that's all it ever says. That's maybe. This Nimby has been injured. His injury's not serious, but since doesn't get any better since he's so distracted. Apparently, it's just a way of the game saying, Ha ha, dead end. Did a block just stop me, or what did stop me? Probably some stupid thing. Anyway. Yeah, it's the same. But yeah, good luck, Charlie. Maybe I shouldn't call it awesome, but I do like it. Very much. So yeah, there's your ha ha to dead end. And here's your we patrol, but only in an alternate dimension. Oh, you went through the wall! <laughs> that just reminded me. I had a funny moment when I was, um... I was trying to show, um... BRB224, the reference in the Easter Egg and Zelda Ocarina of Time where you, um... The Mario pictures, because he's never seen it before. But as I was trying to get through the guards, I failed. And one time, like, when the guard, like, runs over to Link, he actually went through the water fountain. And I'm like, you... How do you do that? Is he taking a bath? Take it back! Whoa, someone's kicking his ass. Well, okay. Well, this is a change of pace from the other two. They come without pause. Hmm, against such an assault, I cannot hope to last. Huh, reinforcements? At last, my strength has reached the end. Okay. So at least it's a change of pace, like he's not towering and, or something. They're easiest taken care of with Bowser since they don't have any projectiles and no attacks other than running right toward you. Foul beasts are no more. Another thing I was telling BRB224 and it's Rabbi, or Rabbi if you prefer. Love me, these three orbs are not things to be given away lightly, and yet these are dire times. And I owe dip, 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 
It's the red orb. Awesome, we get to catch Groudon in Super Paper Mario. Wait, that's not what we do? Ah, shoot. I, I, for some reason, I like it when Nintendo games, even with two totally different series, have items that are called the same thing. For example, the red orb. And there's a bunch of other stuff from Pokemon, like the star piece, and uh, there's more too. And even not Pokemon, like you got the star rod that's in Kirby and Paper Mario. You got the, in fact, the star rod in Super Smash Bros. for the longest time, I thought it was Paper Mario. Hey, I didn't know any better. All I played was Mario. So, yeah, they're, so we got the one in the top left and the top right. Now, I don't know why I always get lost here, but it's really not that bad, but this is actually going very well. So this should take us back to the area where the blocks descend like stairs. Yeah. This is what I was talking about, like, see the blocks like that. And, um... Oh, that's right, this video is going to be fused onto another one, so it's going to be, um, it's longer than I think. So what we'll do is we'll end the video the exact same place where we ended the last one, and the next video I'll meet you back at that hall with all three of the orbs. And this one's way easier than I remember. I remember this as being, like, one of the hardest parts of the game. I put off recording for this? I put off recording for this? I put off recording for this. Hold a moment, I remember. I am Blueby! Right, not Bluey, Blueby. Of course, Lubby's name for him is Dumby, which I think is better. So now we get to catch Kyogre as well. And Luigi's really pissed because there's no green orb. The one to catch Rayquaza is called the Jade Orb, and there's not even a green orb in this game. So understandably, Luigi's pissed. <sighs> anyway. Yeah, he's gonna bomb Love B. But Love B went away. Ah! This is a hard this would be a hard boss fight to just have it follow you. I mean seriously, look how hard this would be. Uh, I guess it wouldn't be that hard. You just gotta have a little trickery. Mm-hmm. Bye.